Hello. We have gathered here today to celebrate something that matters. That's Gina's birthday. It was very dark. It was dark. Happy birthday, Gina! No, celebrate a little, have a bit of fun. We'll be good. Okay, well, um, hi, Gina. Hey, Gina. Uh, Gina. This is Nick. This is Patch. And for such an occasion, I have been tasked with creating a haiku. Okay, so for your birthday, we're writing you birthday haikus. Now, I have no artistic talent and no sense for wordplay. Um, but I shall give it a shot. Um, we're going, we, we wrote a poem for you called The Gina. Yeah, The Gina by us. By us. And then Julia apparently can't connect to the internet, slash is very lazy. Both are very possible. Um, so I'm going to read you hers after I read you mine. Come with me and together we'll venture forward into this uncharted territory. So here we go. Oh, let's start. Wow, it's your birthday. Have a magic food-filled day. Don't die. You're 19. Not good at haikus. Gina's birthday today. Yeah. She is really cool. A birthday shared by Gina and Bruce Willis. You're in good company. In all my classes, I miss hanging out with you. You're so cool. Love, Mars. Gina, my stress braiding friend. Eat from Narnia today. Play tennis always. And then Julia's is, so this is from Julia. Fuck you is old now. Make sure to marathon friends and get the birthday D. I didn't have anything to do with that, so that's from her. You're 19 today. 19 on the 19th day. Things gonna be cray. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over... <laughs> if we're doing stanza by stanza... Oh, I thought we were doing line by line. We can do line by line. Go for it, line. We'll start over. All right. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten Gina, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a Gina. <laughs> Go on. As of someone gently rapping, Gina at my chamber door. Tis some Gina, I muttered, Gina-ing at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly, I remember it. Uh, it was the bleak, bleak December. And each separate dying ember wrought its Gina on, upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow. From my book's sur surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Gina. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore. <laughs> Gina. Nameless here forevermore. And the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain. Thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating. Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late entreating entrance at my chamber, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> this it is, and nothing, Gina. <laughs> Presently, my Gina grew stronger, hesitating, then no Gina. <laughs> Gina, I said, or Gina, madam, truly, <laughs> your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping. Oh, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That scarce I was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Gina there, and nothing more. Deep in that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing. Doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token. And the only word there spoken was the whispered word. <laughs> word. 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 Lenore. Word. Lenore slash Gina. The, uh, this I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word Gina. 
Merely this and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, what there it is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing, Gina. Open here I flush the shutter, when with many flirt and flutter. In there stepped a stately Gina of the saintly days of yore. Not the least... Uh, we wrote this. I wrote the word, how do you not... Of a sense made he... She, not a minute stopped or stayed she. But with mine of lord or lady perched above my chamber door. Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door. Perched and sat and nothing more. Then this ebony Gina beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. By the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven thou, I, I said, art sure, art sure no craven. Ghastly grim and ancient Gina, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is, Gina, on the night Platonian shore. Quoth the Gina, nevermore. Much I marveled at this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly. Though its answer, <laughs> though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being... Ever yet was blessed with seeing bird Gina, <laughs> <laughs> Gina bird above its chamber door. Sure, down beast or Gina upon the sculptured beast bust above his chamber door with such name as nevermore. But the ra but the Gina sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word, as if her soul in that one word she did outpour. Nothing further than she uttered, not a feather than she fluttered. Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow, she will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the Gina said, nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken. Doubtless, I, said I, what it utters is its only stock in store. Caught from some, some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster. Followed fast and followed faster till her son... <laughs> Till her songs, or no, this is the master. Till oh, till his songs, his or her one birded bore. We should really fix that. Till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never, never more. But the uh, Gina still beguiling all my fancy into smiling. Straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of Gina and burst and bust and door. Then upon the veiled sinking, I betook myself to linking. Fancy into fit unto. Linking means it's the ominous bird Gina of yore. <laughs> Where are we? Um, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of the Gina of yore? What? <laughs> There's no punctuation. Bird of yore. Okay, wait. Gina of yore. Okay. What this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous Gina of yore? Meant in croaking. <laughs> There's no punctuation. Okay, perfect. Um... <laughs> I don't know. We're so inconsistent. Uh, um, yeah. This I sat engaging and guessing, but no syllable expressing. To the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's Gina. <laughs> you didn't say Gina's bosom. <laughs> oh, damn it. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining. On the cushion's velvet lining that the lamp lay le 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 but whose velvet li but whose velvet <laughs> violet lining with the lamp light glowing o'er, she shall press ah nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God has lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee respite, respite, and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh quaff, this kind nepenthe. And forget the lost Gina. Quoth the Gina, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still of Gina or devil. Whether Templar sent or whether Tempest tossed, thee here, Gina. <laughs> Desolate, yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted. On this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Quoth the Gina. Nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if Gino or devil. By that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Uh, tell the soul with sorrow laden, if within the d distant Gina. 
It shall clasp a Satan, Gina, whom the head <laughs> You said Satan, Gina, not Satan. Saint, the taint, the fuck, the tainted maiden, <laughs> Gina. <laughs> um, clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Gina. Quoth the Lenore, nevermore. <laughs> Get, uh, be that word our sign is parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and night's Plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from out my door, off my door. Quoth the raven, Gina. No. And the Gina never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. On the pallid... Bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes of all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamp light o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor. Shall be lifted ever, nevermore, Gina. <laughs> yeah. Done and done. So. And I wrote you two. Oh. I rhymed it. That's my haiku for you. It was interesting. We, we put a lot of work into it. Happy birthday, Gina! I miss you! Love you! Happy, happy, happy birthday! You're 19 on the 19th. Whoa! Golden birthday! Happy birthday! Happy, have a great birthday! Happy birthday, Gina. I hope you have a great day. I miss you so much. I haven't seen you since summer. All right, have a good rest of your school year. We will Skype soon. We have to, and we have to see each other in the summer and play tennis and attempt to speak French and things like that, and it'll be great. All right, have a great day. Love you. I love you so much. Have a happy birthday. I hope to talk to you on your actual birthday, which would be today when you're watching this video. So, yeah. We love you <laughs> and stuff. Lenore. Gina. Raven. Gina. Raven. Gina. Keep sending me them Snapchats. You got a talent. A talent you need to follow. In Snapchatting. Anyway, happy birthday. Love you. I really hope I see you um, in the summer because I haven't seen you in ages and it would be so cool to hang out. But I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to spend the, like, the entire summer with you, hopefully. Virginia buddies for life. So I love you. Happy birthday. Patrick. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> just touched my boob. That was the point. Um.